Hello everyone, Harry Bulldog here, editor at Total Telecom. One of the most fascinating things about 5G is its transformative potential for various diverse industries, from manufacturing to healthcare. But while, new, while news of smart technologies and smart cities is becoming more common, one of the most exciting and often overlooked industries for 5G is actually agriculture. Today I'm joined by Umberto Ferrero, VP of 5G and Digital Transformation at TIM, to discuss the ways in which 5G is advancing smart agriculture and what's next for Tim in this exciting industry. Umberto, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you, Harry. Let's start with a rather general question. What role can 5G play in the agricultural sector and what opportunities does this represent for the operators? Well, uh, 5G is opening up uh, a number of uh, opportunities and uh, together with uh, Edge, is actually reshaping uh, the opportunities for tech operator and for customers to uh, facilitate uh, and boost the digitalization of many sectors. Uh, 5G, more specifically, uh, is uh, trying to blend uh, network and IT technology, and this uh, helps a lot to accelerate uh, innovation and to integrate uh, a number of uh, partners and a number of technologies. So what, uh, what we are doing uh, in uh, team uh, in parallel with the deployment of 5G itself uh, is to develop uh, a number of uh, service platform to uh, integrate the new functionalities able to uh, fully exploit uh, the extra low latency and extra bandwidth of uh, 5G. Uh, more specifically, we uh, developed the concept of the so-called uh, team digital business platform uh, which is able uh, to uh, expose a number of functionalities through uh, simplified interfaces, typically API, uh, and all these things can greatly help to mix and match, let me say, uh, new uh, capabilities to uh, support our customers. Uh, all these actions are under the umbrella of uh, the plan 2021-2023 uh, of them, renamed uh, Beyond Connectivity, uh, trying to uh, integrate more advanced functionalities to uh, uh, better exploit uh, all the potential of 5G. What do you consider the most promising technologies that make use of 5G's capabilities? Uh, starting from the basic uh, of uh, 5G, uh, extra bandwidth, uh, low latency, and uh, hyper-dense uh, Internet of Things, uh, there is a number of uh, new platform uh, the operators can develop, and we actually are, we are developing in our labs. Uh, they are dealing with uh, robotics, and the first kind of robot is uh, the drone because uh, uh, as uh, the greater potential and the greater maturity, uh, as well as, uh, uh, super, let me say, uh, super video performances, so-called video 360. So with great bandwidth, you can uh, deliver an immersive feeling for several applications. Uh, other good examples are all the potential for uh, remote driving. O obviously, you need extra security and extra performances from the network, uh, but the possibility to uh, remotely drive cars, or more specifically, uh, farm tractor or similar agricultural machine, is uh, a very intriguing opportunity. Another interesting point uh, is uh, to leverage on the typical inherent capability of a mobile network to uh, capture position and timestamp uh, together with a blockchain technology. These two, uh, these two features together with the other platform I mentioned uh, can help a specific sector, and in this case, uh, agriculture, to uh, certify the data. So we can uh, collect the data, put a timestamp, and to make it uh, unchangeable thanks to, to blockchain. It is just the beginning because all the uh, all this information you can collect from uh, from these devices together with uh, uh, sensor and Internet of Things uh, can be composed in uh, in different applications. For example, in the domain of agriculture. What would you say are the benefits offered specifically by these technologies for agriculture itself? 
Well, agriculture is uh, a sector extremely important. Uh, we are particularly uh, stressed at this point during this uh, year of pandemic, and uh, more specifically in uh, in Italy uh, and in general in South Europe uh, is uh, an industrial sector extremely important. The challenges for this sector are again in the domain of digitalization, but digitalization of uh, agriculture comes with uh, specific challenges. Uh, I can summarize the three main challenges. The challenge of uh, uh, efficiency, the challenge of uh, sustainability, and the challenge of quality. Agriculture in, uh, in Italy uh, comes with uh, a number of uh, products uh, consider excellence in different domains uh, and uh, in more general terms the people and consumer are more conscious about uh, the quality of the food that they buy and they eat. Uh, so the ability to certify, to track and certify the life cycle of uh, goods uh, to be eaten or drink, the, the possibility to certify this data is uh, quite uh, useful to uh, deliver and to uh, add quality perception and quality assurance to our customers. Another important uh, field, the second one, is sustainability. Uh, with the digitalization of agriculture, you can do a lot to save water, to save uh, uh, seeds, to save uh, pesticides, uh, to optimize all the life cycle, reducing cost, and reducing pollution and uh, in, in general terms, environmental impact. Uh, next, efficiency. Uh, with all this uh, improvement, you can also deliver goods and deliver production in uh, more um, sustainable and economical way, uh, driving costs down, or at least controlling and optimizing all the all the cost implications. I know you've just mentioned a couple examples there, but could you share with me some more of how this technology is being used uh, in practice and what tests and trials Tim is currently involved in for the agricultural space? Well, let's turn into real uh, all the technologies we mentioned so far. Uh, what we did uh, during the last few months uh, was to uh, move uh, to uh, field uh, some of the technologies uh, in real environment. Uh, we selected a, a relevant and famous area called the Lange, famous for uh, wines, uh, and specifically for the Barolo wine, the so-called king of the wine and wine of the king. Is a production uh, top quality. We found uh, a partner called Cantina Wurz Martini uh, who uh, accepted to uh, test uh, together with him uh, the proof of concept of uh, some of these technologies. What we did was uh, to uh, cover the area with uh, AG to integrate uh, and to use uh, uh, drones. Uh, uh, capturing images from the area in order to measure uh, the health of uh, the vineyard. Uh, we collected data from a number of sensors in terms of humidity, temperatures, wind, and so on. Uh, we also integrated a blockchain to certify uh, and uh, secure data collected by the mobile network. All these data are collected and uh, sent to the cloud where algorithm of uh, machine learning and intelligent, uh, artificial intelligence uh, elaborate uh, the status of uh, the vineyard and uh, uh, the owner of uh, this property can elaborate better strategy to uh, improve quality and optimize the production. Uh, and uh, when speaking about uh, moving into field, uh, I seized the opportunity to uh, mention uh, another uh, technology we moved to field recently, just a few days ago, 
Uh, Tim is one of uh, the supporters of the so-called ORAN initiative, uh, an initiative to uh, stimulate uh, a, a new concept of uh, radio access network under uh, open uh, protocols and interfaces. And uh, we just uh, switch on the first uh, site on air in the area of Faenza, uh, Emilia Romagna, just a few days ago. But uh, moving back uh, to, uh, to agriculture, another good example, just to uh, uh, refer to other possible capabilities of 5G network, is what we did in Matera, south of Italy, uh, where we uh, started uh, recently a proof of concept of remote driving of uh, farm tractors. Uh, in a large environment, uh, it's actually a corn field. Uh, we used some uh, specially modified uh, tractors uh, driven remotely with a number of uh, benefits in terms of efficiency, in terms of uh, maintenance, uh, and in terms of precision. This is what is often called as uh, precision farming because you need a, basically a centimetric uh, precision to put uh, seeds, uh, water, and, uh, and uh, all, the, all the stuff required ex precisely in the, in the right place. Uh, there are other benefits. There is more than this, because we also added uh, the functionalities to provide remote assistance, exploiting uh, extended reality and augmented reality. It delivers also in remote areas the possibility to uh, use uh, top technology and the support of the top expert uh, remotely located. What do you consider to be the most promising technical enablers as they relate to agriculture? Well, uh, the industry is working on the, these topics uh, since uh, some years, but a lot of things are uh, ready, let me say, here and now. Uh, certainly, the first uh, technology to be used uh, in the smart agriculture is the technologies related to drones and all the imaging technologies uh, uh, carried by drones. Uh, together with uh, sensors, there, are, there, is an increasingly, there is an increasing number of sensors available in the market to monitor all the characteristics uh, of, uh, of the field. And uh, I think the third one is uh, related to blockchain. Blockchain uh, is uh, stable enough and uh, mature enough for this kind of application to uh, provide, uh, let me say, quality control to, uh, to agriculture. Uh, and then uh, other things are just around the corner. I think uh, uh, more advanced robots, maybe working <laughs> or uh, uh, moving uh, on uh, wheels uh, are approaching and we have to be to prepare for it. Uh, new sensors are available, uh, enhanced artificial intelligence, and last but not least, uh, self-driving, I don't say cars, but in this car machine, uh, to, um, uh, to support agriculture with uh, automatic uh, machinery and all this stuff are supported uh, by a remote uh, um, expert uh, enabled by XR and VR. So practically we are starting and we will see very exciting years in the short future. It really is such an exciting time for, uh, for 5G and for agriculture too, where there's so much innovation taking place. Umberto, it's been really great to speak to you. Thank you very much for your time. If you want to hear more from Umberto on the topic of 5G, he is taking part in a panel session focused on 5G-enabled services in healthcare at this year's virtual 5G Live conference. The session will take place on May the 18th at 10 past 12 UK time. And for more information about the event, please visit the website. We look forward to seeing you there.